Hi guys, uh, welcome back to a new tutorial. Uh, well, in previous videos, we have seen how to interface and cat and robot in NVIDIA ISX in SDK and still navigation, prime minister scratch, how to integrate the LiDAR, how to integrate the camera and how to make a odometry from the action graph. So these things we seen and finally we seen with the navigation. So these are all from simulation wise. So well, uh, and before that we installed the ROS and Humble version in a Jetson Nano and then we installed the mapping approaches in Cartographer Slam. So that will be in upcoming videos. So next we need to uh, know how to integrate the uh, lower controller devices like Arduino, ESP32, Raspberry Pi Pico. So that all are under the ROS, micro ROS thing. So there's an agent uh, which is uh, working like in ROS serial in ROS one. So while connecting the Arduino with an uh, Jetson or an, uh, Raspberry Pi, we'll use a ROS serial command, right? So like that in ROS two, we'll use a micro ROS agent to connect with lower control device so we we can take the example like in micro ROS uh, we can use the simple applications like node topic list service uh, request parameters so those things also we can implement it in the uh, ESP32 or Raspberry Pi Pico and we can understand how it will be working hardware to the software thing using a firmware or any other ROS or task free so real-time operating system firmware so these things uh, we'll understand from that so in, in this video we'll see how to set up the micro ROS for the system uh, client agent to configure the ESP32 uh, with the device so I'm going to use a ESP32 and using a micro ROS agent I'm going to communicate between the Jetson and the ESP2 to transfer the teleoperation movement to the navigation using a CMD well command line so that's a video so follow that so now uh, we need to create a workspace for the micro ROS I already create so that's CD micro ROS so this is my uh, workspace so first I need source so then sourcing uh, we need to enter into the UR okay so here I need to clone this repo which I take from the official website of our task uh, micro ROS thing so here you can find out that how to build a micro ROS on your system so creating a firmware for micro ROS thing so our task is a basic same system thing a firmware also so that we will see in upcoming videos alright uh, so the steps uh, which they follow I give in my notion documentation so first we need to clone this repo on our system so it's already exists right so next uh, we need to install the dependencies for the system sudo apt install python 3 okay, after installing dependencies uh, we need to install the ROS part which the dependencies are fulfilled or any error will be occurs while building the package so that we need to fine tune so after building the cloning and find out the dependencies so we need to make the create agent right so now we escape from the src give colkin build after cloning uh, we need to install dependencies and find out the dependencies uses any will occur as well doing the cat colkin make so here's no problem so then uh, after this uh, we need to run this command ROS2 micro ROS underscore setup create a agent so this we need to run to create a agent on the system so while well, using ASP32 uh, we need to communicate between this device to our system so we need some agent so we need to create that agent okay okay 
after uh, creating agent uh, we need to okay we successfully created the agent right so then uh, uh, we need to build the agent on the system so we need to run this command so ros2 run micros setup build agent dot sh so this will be build the system with the things okay but i already did these steps uh, to create uh, the things right uh, but once you start it will take uh, up an hour or now to build in the agent building things right so how we can uh, communicate with the esp with the micro ROS, right so we can use a arduino ide to write the code or compile the code inside the esp otherwise uh, we can use the firmware to insert the code into the esp32 so these two steps we can follow so well so like you take the example here we have the uh, teleoperation code in this the motor configurations values is available with the controlling uh, to give the serial connection between ESP to the uh, driver right a motor driver so for that we already included the code uh, compiled the code into the ESP32 so the ESP32 has some topics to subscribe with the publisher of CMD well so the CMD well is in publisher topic like teleoperation the teleoperation CMD well is in topic so those CMD well will be available on this ESP32. So the teleoperation information will be shared, the velocity and the acceleration information will be shared between the serial connection from the robot uh, Jetson Nano, right? So then the CMD well is a publisher topic. So using the subscriber information of the topic, it will be received the velocity information uh, from the agent client agent node to the client right like that it will be work so like to take the good example uh, in ROS1 we use a ROS serial to communicate between the Arduino to the processor but here uh, we'll use uh, another one benefit toolkit like ROS micro ROS so this is uh, one of the advantage of using micro ROS is like we can use uh, any uh, code uh, which we can executable in uh, ESP32 to understand an uh, operation which we did in ROS2 like node uh, service or parameters or any other examples which is available on ROS2 we can use it in micro ROS to understand hardware acceleration so that's our advantage thank you we'll see in next video how to communicate between Jetson to the ESP32 to do the teleoperation subscribe to the channel